We deposit spores on plastic tapes. As you increase humidity, they can get much longer and they can contract to a very small size very quickly. And when you combine many, many tapes together, then you can increase the force that they're producing. They can be now part of our device. As moisture from the water surface enters the device, it changes the shape of the muscles. Half of our wheel is placed into a humid environment and half of it into a dry environment. Because our spores are expanding when humidity is high and contracting when humidity is low, that means you have a very tiny mass imbalance on the wheel which causes it to push forward. We created these devices to show what might be possible. You can have sport wear that will dynamically respond to if you're sweating or not. We can make a robot move its arms based on a pool of water that's standing above. Prosthetics. Batteries. Off-the-grid applications away from society where one might not have access to the typical electrical infrastructure. We can take this in so many different directions and we can come up with so many different ideas.